Hey Google, Happy New Year. Happy New Year. In 2018, I resolved to be even more helpful. First day of the year, unfortunately, still a bit sick. Uh, my sore throat's going away, I've just got a bit of a cough now. It's all good. I'm gonna go and start the year off right with a run. Good eight miles to uh, kick the year off. So a few people asked after the last video I made about Crohn's and how running's helped so much with uh, my recovery from it. Has my diet played a factor in, in it as well? And it has for sure, it's played a massive part but I kind of left that out of the video and just sort of kept it about running because running started everything. I never would have been motivated to eat a healthier, cleaner diet if it wasn't for running. I switched to a plant-based diet not long after I started running. I did it because I thought it would make me a better runner, not because I thought it would magically cure Crohn's. So running really sparked everything. Uh, and... I wanted to keep the video as condensed as I could, otherwise it would have ended up being 20 minutes long and it's just, it's more of a just a, a brief timeline of, of everything that happened rather than going into to all the details of it, but diet's been huge for me, for sure. Uh, and thanks for all the comments on that video, super positive and supportive. Makes me glad I made the video, I love reading the comments. You know, I was umming and ahhing about whether I, sh I should make it or, or not, but the comments uh, made me glad that I, I did. <coughs> Never been much of a, a New Year's resolution person. It's I just think if you're going to do something, if you really want to do something, you, you're going to do it, regardless of what time of year it is. The, the changing of the years is just... It's something I never never give much thought to. Went to bed early last night, I woke up, went for a run, because that, that's what I want to do. Uh, but I set goals all the time, and that's that's what I'm a fan of. I, I think goal setting is a great idea. Set short-term goals, long-term goals, and since the end of the year, it is naturally a time of uh, reflection. I thought I'd just run through some of my, my current goals. They're always changing, but this is just some of them at the moment. Stay healthy, always my number one goal, always. Never take your health for granted. Finish Lavarado, that's primary goal there. Secondary goal is to obviously run well. It's gonna be my big running goal for the year. Everything's gonna be focused around it, building up towards it, much like it was last year for the CCC. Complete another six point race to get the points to apply for the draw to UTMB in 2019. UTMB is my, my long term goal. Uh, you need 15 points over three races within two years. So CCC will give me five points, Lavarado is going to give me six, uh, and then I need to get another six point race done. And fingers crossed it's going to be TDS in the draw for that. So find out about it soon. Really hope I get to go back this year. Make better videos more consistently. I've been making these things on YouTube for nearly a year. Uh, I really enjoy it. I just like to be a little bit more consistent with it because I don't always feel like doing it uh, you know, when I press for time or in the middle of a big training block or something like that. 
But yeah, I just like to be a bit more consistent. There's no, for one, there's nothing more annoying when you enjoy watching someone on YouTube and then they just they don't upload for a month. And also for myself to to look back on, uh, you know, now that some of these videos are a year old, they're pretty interesting to look back at. And there's always ways to make them better. You know, try and provide more value to you watching it, and uh, you know, make it a bit more worthwhile. Last one, read more. It's pretty much just a constant goal of mine, just to read as much as possible, because I love it, and I think there's a lot of benefits from reading. Uh, but again, <laughs> sometimes I just, it's like I just can't find the time or the motivation to read. So, read more. That's it. I've got a lot more goals than that, but uh, yeah, just, again, I don't want this thing to go for 20 minutes. <laughs> Also, check this out, I just found this. That's me, first ultra, it was a 56k race, I had no idea what I was doing. I entered the race on a Wednesday and it was on a Sunday, and I bought that hydration pack that same Wednesday, got it express posted along with a few gels, and it was like a size large or extra large, it was way too big for me, I remember that. It was all they had in stock, so I had to get it and I just had pretty much no idea what I was doing and that's me at the finish just 100% buckled. Rest day roll on the bike, super short one. Normally I'm just happy to do nothing on rest days but I'm on holidays and I got the time so I may as well. Just listening to the Smiths, I've been really into the Smiths and Talking Heads lately. I've always wanted to learn more Smith songs on the guitar, I've just I don't know, for whatever reason, I've never gotten to it, but Johnny Marr, great guitar player. One of the best rhythm guitar players ever. Had a very uneventful day after my ride yesterday. Cause this cough, it's uh, it's getting to me. Uh, I'm about to go for my run. I don't, I don't even, you know, I've got no past experience with this. I don't know whether I should be running or not or taking some days off because I've, I've never been sick like this since I started running. It's, I just don't often get sick, but... Here I am. I'm sick. Got it done. Still feeling like a pack a day smoker. I haven't eaten yet today, so time for some brekkie. It is the next day, and I've admitted defeat, and I just went to the doctor. Apparently, I've got viral bronchitis. There's not too much they can do for that. Got to let it run its course. Could last a couple of weeks. So... It could be worse, it's just super annoying that it's happened on my break from work, so I kind of feel like I've just spent my my holiday break just uh, lounging around watching Netflix and doing nothing. Uh, but, yeah, I don't even feel terrible, I don't have trouble breathing or anything, uh, I can run fine, it's just that it's keeping me up at night, because it seems to be worse at night, I'm not sleeping properly, it's making me tired and you know just not feeling great through throughout the day so what are you gonna do i just realized yesterday that uh there's an asian supermarket in town that might have a few things that i want to get which will save me ordering them online so i'm gonna go suss them out see what they got They didn't have anything I was after, but I reckon I'm going to wrap this one up here. I just went through, I went through yesterday and replied to all the comments on uh, the last video about Crohn's and some new ones there I hadn't seen. Again, the comments just super positive, which is awesome. It's one thing that's really surprised me about making these videos is just how positive the comments have always been. I, there's never been a negative comment on any video, which is a testament to the fact that people who run are just generally good people. Like I've, I've never met a runner who's a bad person. So thanks for those. But there was uh, a few there, you know, saying things like, you know, I've got a sibling or a friend who's got Crohn's or people with illnesses themselves. Do I recommend a plant-based diet? I recommend it for anybody. Uh, 
I believe anybody can feel better than they already do on a plant-based diet. That's just my opinion, but you know, I don't talk about it too much in these videos. I try and just keep things centered around running because I find people who preach veganism, I don't even like the word vegan because I feel like those people that preach it super hard have created this negative stigma in people's minds about the word but I don't like people who preach it. I don't think it's effective and I just don't like it. I, what I try to do is just be an example. You can you can see what I show what I eat, you can see what I eat, you know, it's, it's, it's pretty obvious. So for me when I uh, discovered plant-based eating it was from reading Scott Jurek's book Eat and Run and he was an example. He'd done all these crazy things that I just, at the time, just before reading that book, if someone told me you could do that and he didn't eat meat, I wouldn't have believed it. Like, it just blew my mind. That was back when everything was nowhere near as commercialized as what it is now, even though it was four, four years ago. Uh, everything's come a long way since then. But I don't like being told what to do. I don't think anybody does. So when someone's just trying to preach something on me super hard, I'm just like, stop. I just, I've never thought it's been an effective way to go about it. And people would disagree with me and say that those people that do that have converted hundreds of thousands of people to veganism and plant-based eating. Maybe, but again, I still just think it's annoying and not the most effective way to do it. Like I said, you just be an example I feel like people are going to be just way more open-minded towards it and just open towards it in general. So that's it. Catch you in the next one. Later.